and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to run the ARDL model in eViews. So ARDL model is generally run when variables are integrated of order 0 and 1. So when variables are integrated of order 0 and 1, ARDL model is very appropriate. Even though we can run ARDL when variables are integrated of order 1, all integrated of order 1, uh, generally the Joanne-Senko integration is performed in order to see if whether or not uh, there exists a long-run relationship or there exists a Joanne and co-integration among variables in order to, uh, to run the error correction model. So, but in the case in which we have variable that integrated of order 0 and 1, it's possible to, it's not possible to run the Joanne and co-integration, but we can run the BAM co-integration test that has been developed by Toda Yamamoto. So, in this video, we'll show you how to uh, form the ARDL model as well as BAM test in order to go to long run co-integration form of ARDL model. So, if the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe to the youtube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next video so as we said in this uh, video we have a variable uh, that are integrated of order 0 and 1 and we will check it out so we have macroeconomic variable like ggp so i have a log ggp that i i have generated here so we can test for unit rule for example for a variable uh, x RT that is uh, exchange rate. So in our model, we are going to see, for example, the impact of exchange rate on economic growth. So to run the uh, unit growth test, you just need to go in view, uh, unit growth test uh, level. So we have augmented decay fuller test by default. We can run Iperon, KPSS, and so on. So we will keep uh, augmented decay fuller test that is uh, by default value. We can OK. We can see that p value is higher than 5%. So we uh, the variable exchange rate is not stationary. We look at stationary at first difference and you can see that our variable is stationary at the difference we can also look at variable at inflation unit roof test level here so you can see that our variable inflation is stationary because the p-value is less than five percent so you can also uh, notice that there are variable that are integrated of order zero and variable that are uh, integrated of order one so that we can run our ARDL model our dependent variable will be in the log GDP. So we click uh, on quick, quick estimate equation, estimate equation, log GDP. Independent variable, we have uh, exchange rate, foreign direct investment, FDI, foreign direct investment. We have uh, the variable government spending. Uh, we have variable inflation, inflation in our model. We have our variable uh, unemployment. So most of the time in ARDL there are problem of collinearity when we uh, and it's generally due to the fact that we put so, so many lag in our model. So to run our ARDL we select uh, ARDL here in method ARDL auto receive distributed lag model. So uh, as I was saying, uh, most of the time ARDL model are, are not we are not able to perform ARDL due to the number of lags. So we have here for the dependent variable the, uh, default value is four lags and regressor are uh, four lag. So that's the maximum lag that we can have in our in our model. And uh, the, the software EVUs will uh, among all possible model choose the optimal lag for any variable that will not be more than four generally if i will uh, copy first of all my equation if i run the model we can see this message like singular matrix meaning that we have put a lot of lags in our model we'll reduce lag in our equation in order to maybe uh, obtain a good estimation so quick estimate equation method ERDL will put here uh, first of all one lag for example and you can see that uh, the result have been have been computed we can also choose maximum lag 2 to see if the method has been executed estimation uh, we can go up to 3 singular matrix meaning that we can we should uh, keep it at uh, 2 lakhs so we can see that our ARDL model has been computed and we can see the significance of any variable GDP that have uh, many lags so we can also reduce as well uh, the number of lag for uh, for gdp so we have uh, here this relationship so we can go at three we can estimate all all our model that we want we can focus on this uh, new model that we have estimated and search if whether or not there exists a long run relationship among our variable by running the bound test so to run the bound uh, co-integration test we need to uh, you just need to go in view uh, coefficient diagnostic and then select a long run form and bound test so click on 
okay and we go down into this table and you can see that our official statistic for the bound test is 21 that is higher than our uh, critical value at uh, 10 5 2.5 or 1 percent level so we can say that there exists a long run relationship among our variable and here this equation in the top of that is the long run relationship between log gdp exchange rate foreign direct investment and we can see that exchange rate have a positive impact even though the impact is not significant at long run on the gdp foreign direct investment have a positive and significant impact on the gdp uh, unemployment have a long run negative impact impact on the gdp so meaning that we need to put the poli policy in to, to, in order to promote employment so that can uh, produce more in the economy so here is the long run relationship and the bounties uh, say that there is this a long run relationship and finally what we, we need to do is to run co-integration from after uh, testing for a co-integration bound co-integration test we can go on view coefficient diagnostics and uh, go to long uh, error correction form uh, here is the error correction form of the of our model uh, error correction term in negative and significant meaning that there exists a error correction mechanism that correct any disequilibrium in our uh, economy so you can see that uh, foreign direct investment have a positive impact in the short run as well as uh, exchange rate that have negative impact in the short run here's the, the error correction model form is the short run equation of our model so we can go and uh, to look at uh, diagnostic tests in like uh, normality error autocorrelation in view residual diagnostics uh, uh, histogram normality we have uh, you can see that our error term are not normally distributed meaning that we can we should try maybe to change specification or adding uh, any other variable in order to have a good equation so, so that's it for this video and we'll see you very soon